Sporting dog adventures run, that boy, was run. Awesome. Everything you Good need boy. is here, here under the sun. Everything you need is here under the sun. Hey, welcome to Sporting Dog Adventures, presented by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. We've got a great training tip today. This is going to be all about getting your dog introduced to gunfire. Now, Sean, I use a 209 primer pistol at times, but a real go-to is almost a reduced recoil round that can be used. It's not as loud when you're, when you're training your dog. So the, what we're going to be doing today is it's going to be louder than a 209 primer, but it's going to be less than an actual shot shell charge. And what we're going to be making is, is basically a jump dummy round, but still replicating that noise that's there. So the dog is, is still reacting in, on its cue. And from there, either the dummy's thrown or your command is next. The cool thing about this is we have one person out throwing the bumper and you can point in a direction. I never point at someone because you're still shooting bird seed, but point in a direction and it allows the dog to see what is more real life where the object they're going to retrieve is being thrown. Mark, you shoot your reduced recoil round, which isn't as loud, and then they can go and make the retrieve. That a boy here. Good boy. Drop. Good dog. Sporting Dog Adventures is presented by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism, Boucher Automotive, Fleet Farm, Heavy Shot, Mac Outdoors, Rite Inertia Driven Shotguns, and Soggy Acres Retrievers. Hey, welcome to season nine of Sporting Dog Adventures. Please like our videos, share them, and spread the word to all your friends. We're gonna be using bird seed. You mm -hmm. can also use tapioca, uh, basically the pearls, not the powder version. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is just take up the volume in the shell so we get a good crimp. And that's gonna change to the actual audio sound of it too, of being a little bit louder than a 209 primer. Cause we are sticking powder in as well. This is something that as you work with your dogs, you take them out and you can repeat this like once a week with them as you're just throwing bumpers. You're not shooting birds, but you're still conditioning them to gunfire. And it is something that exposes them to a noise, but not quite the noise of a real shell. Correct. And we can go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, go ahead and show us how we get it done. So first, we're gonna go ahead and take our, our empty round. Mm -hmm. We're gonna knock out the old primer. We're going to take our new live primer, drop it in station two. Station three, we're going to go ahead and put our powder charge in. Just slide the bar over. Okay. We're going to take our wad, separates the what we're using, bird seed and powder. We're going to bring that down, seed it, charge mm -hmm. bar back, dropped in the seed. Now we want to make sure that we had a correct height. This is a little bit coarse grain. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So I took a little extra and what we're going to do is just top it off okay. at the correct height. You can use a finer bird seed as well or that tapioca uh, pearl, pearl works as well. Now you want to make sure that you have it up to a certain height. Why? Correct. You want to make sure it's at basically level with the top of the wad as you can see in here. Yep. And what that does is that tells you that the volume of the shell is taken up to okay. where it's supposed to be. So when I go ahead and crimp it, that it's gonna be a nice crimp, what you see on actually a factory, a factory loaded shell. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do our starter crimp and do our finish crimp. So basically looks like a brand new shell, except it's loaded with bird seed. That's awesome. This again is something that is a great step between where you start with your poppers, teaching your marking off a gun barrel to where you're starting to get the dogs introed into what is a more hunting type of an atmosphere. Correct. So it's just that in between step, making sure you're conditioning the dog. I really hope this training tip helped you. Stay tuned for next week's High Flying Adventures. Nothing beats a good pheasant hunt with my sons. We're headed to Kansas this winter. 
the state has some of the world's best populations of upland game, making it one of America's top bird hunting destinations. Kansas provides mixed bag opportunities and 1.5 million acres of public hunting lands. All that makes Kansas an ideal destination. The season runs from the second weekend in November to the end of January. Go to ksoutdoors.com and plan your trip today.